uh, as you can see I'm on the uh, 18th scale test table and I've got a surprise for you um, special thank you to Sean from RC633 in George and his website is rc.6 six 33.online Sean sent this out to me he literally just received it and he sent it out so special thank you to Sean this is something I never expected to get but I uh, actually just saw it coming in and I loved it so much I decided I need to have one of these I have one of these in a bigger scale but not in this size so let's open the box let's look at what comes in and I'm gonna open it at the bottom because there's some private uh, details on the top. And I believe there's a box within a box because Hobby Plus usually does this. Okay, so we should be ready to see what comes in the box, that comes in a box. Okay, before we go on with the unboxing, I want to quickly go through the features with you. This is very important, especially for the guys who want to use this for crawling. Uh, the first thing that we should take note of is the chassis. It's got an aluminum and a dies main chassis. It's got a high torque, big block, uh, 280 size brushed motor, which is not bad. I think it's good for the size. It says it'll be a PPX4 grade water resistant. Uh, Flysky 6 channel ESC slash receiver. I assume maybe they're talking about IPX4, which is splash proof and uh, light rain resistant. But uh, I wouldn't take it through streams of water, you know, just for safety's sake. If you love your RC truck, you don't want to damage it. It's got a Fly Sky 6 channel full size transmitter, which is very nice and uh, fully controllable with one hand. You can press all the buttons uh, with one hand. And now the part that really matters the most, especially to us who crawl and have stripped gears before, it's got full metal gear, two-speed transmission gearbox. That's very important, very important to note. And also it's got full metal gear portal axles, and it's also got a metal gear steering servo. I've gone through so many steering servos in the past, and it's good to know that this one comes with metal gear steering servos. It's got oil-filled uh, big bore shocks and it's also got new heavy-duty plastic drive shocks uh, that come with the new uh, Evo Pro. I believe it's the same uh, material or the same type. Uh, they're more heavy-duty, they don't break so easily. And this one I love so much, servo and axle. It's so nice when the servo is actually placed on the axle and when the shocks compress, it doesn't turn the wheels or move them in any way. And in terms of the cabin, uh, the, the cab at the front uh, that houses the battery and the ESC, it's ABS molded, it's a hard body, it's not uh, uh, Lexan and uh, it's quite nice. It's got a special locking mechanism which you, you will see as we go along in the unboxing. And it's got a winch servo included with a metal hook, which is very nice. It's got 1.2 inch satin silver coated beadlock uh, truck wheels rims very nice it's got full led light systems and the weather is quite bad today uh, the wind is just blowing at uh, such a high pace but i actually plan to take this out at night and uh, uh, you know test out the lights and just see how bright they are and grab some footage of that so i will try my best within the same video it's got a new unique specific final drive ratio for six by six vehicles and uh, that's very nice. That's nice to see that they've actually adapted it uh, for the 6x6. And it's got an island molded realistic tow truck bed. And uh, it's good that it's realistic. It's more scale. And for someone like me, I prefer uh, RC trucks and models that are very scale. And it's got a remote control mechanical high and low speed gear. Uh, so you can control the high and low via the gearbox. You don't have to do it manually by changing uh, gears. Uh, and last but not least, it comes with uh, anti-roll bars included that you can simply clip on and it's uh, under two minutes to install. Okay, so this speaks for itself. 
the entire length of the truck is 372 millimeters uh, from the first tire to the last tire from center to center it is 240 millimeters uh, from the first tire to the second row of tires it's 165 millimeters it's got a 54.20 degree angle of approach and a 50, 52.50 degree departure angle. It's also 146 millimeters high and uh, I believe the width is 135 uh, millimeters, which is quite nice. And uh, it gives it a bit of stability even as you carry small RCs on it, uh, it's quite good. So that's pretty much it. It comes with uh, a 600 milliamp hour uh, battery. All you have to do is supply the AA batteries. There's four AA batteries that go in the FlySky remote. And the nice thing about this is they're AA. Oh, I love this already. I've got the remote, which I'm gonna set to the side for now because it's got some, it's, it's got some solid tape on it. Got the instruction manual, the charger, and I believe those are pieces of the sway bar in case you want to tighten the truck up a bit so it doesn't sway too much to the left or the right. And for an 18 scale, I can already see this is quite big. Here's my hand for reference. Usually an 18 scale fits in my hand, but this is quite cool. It's awesome. I can just pick it up straight out. There you go. And the tires are so grippy. One tire doesn't want to let go. Okay, and there we get the first view of the Hobby Plus CR18P 6x6 flatbed. I'm gonna keep the manual out. First impressions. Comes packaged well. The build quality feels nice. It's got some nice branding on the side. Hobby Plus. Ever since I bought my Evo Pro, I've actually seen this brand and as a brand that actually tries, you know. Um, I have the Evo Pro brushless and I'm quite impressed with that. Surprisingly, that's how I actually met Sean. I bought it from a guy who bought it from Sean. So then I got connected to Sean directly to get parts for that car and uh, yeah, you can see it's got a winch over here and a servo, so I believe that's an active winch. It's very nice, it's always good. Flatbed, I could see this as I opened up, it's got folding down panels. And the reason why I'm unboxing it on this table, which is a bit dirty, is this is gonna be our first test of this truck. Now let's take a look at the back. You see how it looks behind quickly. It's actually quite cool to see a 6x6 in this size. Um, if you've watched this channel before and if you've been following for a long time, you know we've got a bigger 6x6, which I tested in Pretoria at the place where all the horses are kept. Let's pull that up gently. And that reveals the truck to us, CR18P. Get a quick thumbnail. The two. That's the thing I like about 6x6. They just keep going. I mean, when one tire is off the ground like that, the other one's making contact, the other one's making contact. You push it further up, all are making contact, which is quite cool. And we're gonna put this through all the paces and all the tests. It's got quite a few lights, and I believe all of them work. It's got portal axles throughout, which is really nice. You can see that aluminium chassis, you can actually feel it. The build quality on this is quite good. It's got the same shocks that the Evo Pro has, which are nice, I like those and they're very nice and plush, very nice and soft. 
Knowing me, I'm more interested in the motor. I just want to get a look at this motor. Um, I believe you can see it under here. There is your big block uh, 280 motor. And uh, it's a nice look under the truck. It's got a plastic servo arm, but uh, I've got some upgrades for that that I can put in place quickly. I think I've got something that might fit. And uh, let's take a look at what's under the cabin. There's two buttons that you can sort of press at the same time. Let me show you. And I believe that surely releases the cabin to open. And there we go. Here's the ESC, something that we're used to. It's got a 600 milliamp hour battery over there. That's what it looks like in the cabin. And I must say the yellow looks really nice. It's got a nice strong hook over here. And I'm quite keen to actually test this out. So we're gonna charge the battery. It's gonna take a moment for you. For me, it's gonna take a bit more time. And then once the battery is charged, uh, I will set this up on the test table and I'll go through all the functions on the remote and uh, let's see how it is. Okay, so let us test this machine. I'm gonna turn on the remote and we've got light. And then I'm gonna turn on the RC. And let's close this box. Tuck these wires in nicely. The first obstacle we're gonna try is our 18 scale uh, obstacle course. Okay, it clips in nice and tight. Nice and tight and uh, it's clipped in that side. As I said at the bottom, there's two release tabs. One over there and one over there. You pull them both inwards and you can open the cabin and get access to the battery. So let's just test that uh, our remote is actually working. Okay, that is awesome. Before we do that, before we do anything else, let's just quickly take a look at what the buttons do. So I'm gonna press this button over here down, I think it's the first one on the bottom. Okay, that's lights. I believe that's the first mode. And uh, let's just see if all the lights are on the back lights. All the lights are working. Very, very nice. I can just imagine it must be so cool to drive this rig at night. Okay, we're gonna press lights again. And one thing that I noted is it actually illuminates when, it, when you press it. Let's press that button once again. You get turn signals with that on the second function. Let's press it again. See how sensitive that uh, servo is, it actually bounces. Okay, I get that in the same shot. Okay, let's press that button again. And then we get some more lights to switch on. So we get the setting without indicators but sometimes, you know, it just turns slightly and the indicator comes on. It would be nice if it comes on up to a certain angle. But this is cool. I like this LED on the top and I like these extra LEDs. And then let's see if anything else has come on in the back. Same lights. Let's see if we go for it, does it release? It's currently neutral. It's got some reverse lights and indicators that come on when you're reversing. Okay, let's press that again and that's off. Okay, so we're just gonna switch it on to the first mode and uh, let's test this thing. But before we do that, what does channel four do? Okay, that doesn't seem to do anything. Let's see if the button that I thought was the winch is actually the winch. 
Yes, it is. And I like that. That's very nice. Uh, like I said, if it was like a switch kind of button, it's very easy to forget and leave that on and it might burn off the servo. Um, I assume this is the gears because this is halfway and it's currently in neutral. Let's switch it on this side. That must be low gear. That's high gear. Okay, so for these obstacles, we're gonna use low gear. Let's go. I'm expecting a lot from it because it's a six by six. So, it's got one extra set of wheels that other RCs don't have. And it just climbed up like a joke, took it like a joke. Other RCs struggle up here. I must say for its size and everything, the turning radius isn't bad. Quite impressed. I have some other RCs that won't turn in that space. And the tires are nice and big, but they're the perfect size. At full flex, they don't rub, which is quite nice. Let's see, I've got the drag brake set on full. Let's see if we can come down from here slowly, nice and slow in control. And uh, if you ask me, I think that was quite good. down and yes I expected that trailer there to touch now let's quickly try the the next challenge over here okay. so I've set the truck up and uh, let's see how it flexes and because this is a 6x6 six six, I'm not gonna go light on it I'm actually gonna test it on the 10th scale Obstacles. It's got some nice uh, articulation over there. See. And uh, see, there's always a tire that's on the ground. But that's the nice thing I like about this. I actually really like this uh, RC for a first go. Now, let us try the cubes. and it's making lightweight of the, the cube. So I've got some pieces, these are supports from some 3D printing parts, 3D printed parts that I have printed for this table. And it is just making lightweight of this whole thing. Looks like this time we're making it through. Yes, once again, I love the turning circle, the turning radius. For this kind of truck, it's quite quite a nice turning radius. It's not too wide, not too out there. Okay, and there we go, it's done it. Let's see if it'll make this turning circle, this turning radius. If the X18 couldn't do that, um, 
and yeah, I'm just bump my juice off the table. And we are back at the roots. So this is good, it's awesome. We've done a test, a benchmark test here on uh, the 18 scale test table. And as I said, it's really dirty because I just bring the cars in with all their mud and dust and whatever and put them over here so you can see a lot of sand. That's from the FCX18, I was testing it in uh, a sandy area. Then I brought it through and just put it on the table. So now we're gonna go to the area where we've tested a lot of our 10 scale rigs and we're gonna do all the climbs that they do. quite a bit over there. I think we're in the safe zone now. Currently I'm the least accelerator, just to test the drag brake. Staying there. And it looks as though already it's made very lightweight of I didn't speak too soon, and yeah, we are through.
So we are on the sand section, it's in high gear. You need some wheel speed to actually make it through the deep sand. So none of our uh, other
Okay, so I'm sitting on my build desk and uh, I've got a cloth here just to wipe the car down and some boxes. I just finished doing another build and uh, I haven't actually even finished completely, but uh, I needed to test this out because it arrived today. And I must say, I am absolutely blown away. There is absolutely no RC that I've tried that just from stock standard is so good and this 18th scale even though it's supposed to be a, a hauler truck uh, to carry other rcs it is surprisingly 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 uh, capable and uh, i had certain expectations concerning it and i'm telling you from my own words i'm not getting paid to say this or anything but uh, it really just blew my mind. I mean, I was shocked. It did everything that I threw at it, plus more. So even the obstacles that the other cars, uh, the other 18 scales would struggle to do, this thing did with ease. I could even pause on some of the steepest parts of the hills and take off again without any issues, without any tire slipping. These tires are nice and grippy and uh, it's got a nice foam insert inside. It comes with uh, anti-roll bars or sway bars uh, that you can add in, but uh, I found that I didn't really need them when I'm not carrying anything on the back. And uh, to be honest with you, I most probably will just crawl with this thing alone uh, without carrying any RCs on the back because it's just so amazing. It's actually one of the most fun experiences I had. Um, in the time that I took it out. You can see dust on it because I really sent it through the dust as you can see in the previous clips just before this one. So my final conclusion and closing remarks concerning this is this is totally worth the money. Um, if you like 6x6 uh, truck type crawlers um, that are scale but at the same time uh, very capable, this is a very nice 18 scale uh, RC crawler and currently it's in neutral so you can just roll it back and forward but uh, it is amazing the only one thing I did notice from the box is this receiver it won't work on batteries that are at about 40% or low lower it needs the batteries charged up quite nice and then it will work uh, but apart from that no problem whatsoever I had a blast and it was amazing.